So this is part two of the video I started last time, which is the 2020 trend of badge logo designs. Let's get into it. Welcome back designers, my name is Mike Pickett. I am a vector and logo designer with nearly two decades in the design industry. So this channel is all about helping you become a better logo and vector designer through tutorials, talking head videos, tips and tricks that I use with clients on a regular basis. So if you missed the last video, I'm gonna link it right up here in the top. It's part one to this, and I kind of go through the basics of setting everything up, starting with a sketch. Go ahead and watch that before you continue on with part two. If you've already seen it, let's hop over into Illustrator and get busy with part two. Okay, we're almost there. So now I just need to worry about getting kind of the pen handle. And I want more of a sword shape on this, right? So it, it's gonna be straight here, but then when it comes up to the top, it's gonna be that sword coming out of the head. So let's start with our line that we need here. And it's gonna be where our sword's coming out of. I'm gonna round that off. I might need to extend that out just a little bit. And now, we're gonna go right in the middle of it. I'm gonna add an anchor point, and then we're gonna add that roundness, and I'm just gonna give it a nudge, just to give it a bit of a curve. So now for our sword, I mean, it should come out right about here. And again, we're gonna do this the same way I did a couple of other things here, where we're just gonna draw half, so I'm gonna have it come up, and we're gonna go right about there, and then I'm gonna come into the center, and just kind of give it a slight, curve that should work i might have to play with this afterwards but we'll do that once we do a reflection here so i'm going to grab this transform reflect copy and drag over until we get to that center mark right there and there's our sword shape so now i have to get rid of these little pieces that kind of overflow into the sword so i'm going to highlight all three of those i'm going to go shift m on my keyboard that gives me my shape builder, and then I'm going to come in and hit Alt or Option and just click on both of those. So that's gotten rid of both of those, and then we need a line right in the center of the sword. Let's go right here, coming down. That's perfect. I want that little round edge. I might actually come in and change that afterwards, make it a little bit sharper, but I'm going to highlight both of those. Make sure everything is all aligned and square, and then we're going to go connect selected endpoints, and we've got our sword. And then what I need to do is do my pen. So we need the handle for the pen. And I'm actually gonna use this same shape so that I know everything's all lined up. So I'm gonna highlight that and I'm gonna go transform, rotate. We're gonna rotate it 90 degrees. Actually, oops, 180. Don't know my math some days. 180 degrees and go copy. Then I can drag this down and that's gonna end up being our pen handle. Now, I don't like where all of this is sitting, so the first thing I'm gonna do, just so I can see everything clearly here, I'm gonna push these down, get them out of the way for our pen, and then I'm gonna grab these, shift M again for my shape builder, and I'm just gonna click on a few lines here just to get rid of a few things. Perfect. Not exactly happy with how this is coming, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. So I'm gonna grab all of this, except for that. I'm just gonna nudge it up a little bit here. That's looking a little bit better. So let's zoom out and just have a look. Okay, that works. I mean, that's kind of the design that I was going for. That's It's looking like what I wanted just not exactly sold on how this is connecting here. But looking at my shape, it's pretty much how I had it. I think what I'm gonna do is actually come in here, I'm gonna get rid of those, and we're just gonna draw like this. So I've got everything in line, I don't want those to connect. Let's see how that looks. Okay. I think that's gonna work instead. So let's grab that one again, transform, reflect, copy. And we'll drag that one over so that it's in line with that. Group those together and center everything up one more time. Okay, 
that's better. And I actually kind of like how this lines into there. Um, everything kind of looks straight. I might move those in actually. I'm not sure if I do like that. Let's do that right now. My group selection tool, grab that one. Nudge that over 10, 10. And then I can probably draw my other two teeth line, tooth lines in if I knock these down to say seven. Group selection tool again, and I'm gonna alt and drag that out. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of alignment magic here. I do this quite a bit. So I'm gonna go grab my V or my selection tool and I'm gonna group. I'm gonna get this one kind of where I want it. I'm gonna ungroup everything. So get this one where I want it. I'm gonna group those two and then center them on the jawline. Highlight both of those, shift command G to ungroup. Then what I wanna do is I wanna group this one and this one and use it to align this. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, shift command G to ungroup. And then this one and this one, shift G or command G, grab this one and then use that as my, okay. So if you didn't catch that, go back and watch it again. But that's kind of how I do a lot of alignment stuff is I use different groups. And then what I wanna do is we're gonna grab these two I or these two anchor points, drop those down and there's my teeth on the skull. Yeah, that works. Okay, I'm good with that one. So I think everything's coming together now. A couple of small things that I need to clean up um, and we're almost done. Okay, so we're gonna grab this one and I'm gonna go object, path, offset path again. And this one we're gonna come in quite a bit because this is what I'm gonna use for the text. So I want it to be, I'm gonna say right about there. Let's, uh, let's go to 85, which is good. Hit okay. Again, I'm gonna just add an anchor point so I can get rid of that bottom. And then I'm gonna grab both of these and drag those down to where I want my starting point for my text. So this is the line that we're gonna use to get that text to wrap around. So I'm gonna grab my type and we're gonna go type on a path tool. I'm gonna come over and click right on the path and then we get our text that wraps around. Now this isn't the font that I want. I have a different font that I selected for this one which is called Atrament. ATR, so there's Atrament. We're gonna go Atrament Regular and we'll see how this actually works out. So then with everything selected, my text that I want, all caps, get out there and design something. I'm gonna triple click on it, and then we're gonna work with our font sizing. Now, this is always the fun part about designing badges and, and stuff like this, is just trying to get it so that it actually works. This might not be the font that I wanna use, to be honest. I might have to play with the fonts a little bit and just see what other one works. I need to find something that's got a, a good width on it, but still looks proper. So if we go center on this, Still not digging that. And if I go too big, all right, so there's get out there and design something in that big font. Well, it doesn't really fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and play with a few fonts and I'll speed this part up and then we'll come back with the final text and we'll see kind of how I've got everything laid out.
So I think we're almost done everything here now. I went in, as you see, I went in and cleaned up quite a bit. I've added a few different elements. So I wanted to add kind of a highlight to the pen here. Um, I think about the only thing I want to do now is just, we're just going to grab these anchor points. I'm going to lock my text, grab my selection tool, my direct selection tool, pull that sword up just a little bit. And then I think I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to pull that down and then this whole piece minus the outside can get pulled up just a little bit inside of there. And I think that's looking just a little bit better. There's a bit of a spacing issue on that before. So I'm pretty happy with this. Now, the last thing I need to do is just kind of cut this out. And then I want to make sure that I don't have, or I've got some spacing between this. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. And then we'll be done. So I'm going to grab this. Now, first thing I want to do is just round that off just to give it the same look that everything else has. You can see I went in and rounded off everything. I think it just gives it a softer look. And it's kind of a an opposing look to the text. So I like kind of having that opposites. I might adjust this just a little bit more to give that more of a rounded edge, but I'll worry about that later. So for now, I'm going to grab this guy. I'm going to go Command C, Command B to paste a copy in the back. And I'm going to expand object path outline stroke. Then I'm going to add a stroke to it and I'm going to do it in a different color just so I can see what I'm working with. I want to give some good space between that, which is this should be pretty decent. So I'm going to grab this one now. I'm going to do the same thing. So object path outline stroke. Grab this one. That should be my one with the pink, same thing, path, outline, stroke. And that way it's all expanded. Then I'm going to grab those two shapes, shift M. And I'm going to get rid of all of my pink here. So I'm just going to hit the minus key. And we're going to subtract all of that using my shape builder. And that should get rid of everything there. So that way it leaves kind of a nice little, you know, a sort of floating stroke around or outside of that. So I think we're good. Now the last step for anything that I do, I grab all of my type. So I've got that one locked. So I'm gonna grab this one. I'm gonna shift click on all these different type pieces and I'm gonna alt and drag them off my artboard. And I keep these as live text just in case I wanna come in and make any changes down the road. So then from there, I'm gonna grab all of those again, go type, create outlines. Now the thing with that is everything gets changed for spacing. This one I think we're pretty good on but I wanna make sure that these are all centered. So again, if I grab this and then highlight this stroke, use that as my key, all right? See how much of a centering issue there, a difference there is there? And then the same thing with this one, I'm gonna center it to this. Everything's all centered up. Now I'm not happy with the way that this is looking because it's, these are wider than this is. So I'm probably gonna end up changing this for the final design before this actually goes up. But I think you guys have seen enough for today this should give you a good idea of how to go out and design a badge logo. It's a lot of information in here. I realize that this is quite a bit longer video than I normally do. I usually try to keep these around that 10 to 15 mark. This one we've went probably a full half hour now at least, but I think it's important. Um, I, I don't want to skimp on video length because I think shorter videos are what you guys want to watch. Um, when I get into something like this, I want to make sure you get as much information as you possibly can. I think the last thing I'm going to do is I'm probably going to add a little bit of a notch on here as well. Something like this design aesthetic that I did on the pen. I'm probably going to do the same thing over on this side of the droplet to give it a little bit of a highlight too. But so there's the final design for this one. All right, designers, that's the end design. Now I did make some tweaks. If you've already seen the design, if you went and checked out my cotton bureau shop, I did make some minor adjustments to it once I was done. It's kind of my process. Once I'm finished with something, I don't just say, okay, that's it, I'm done. I walk away for a little while. Sometimes it's a couple of hours, sometimes it's a few days. I've walked away for as long as a month before and then come back to a design and went, okay, I'm gonna make some changes to this. So don't be afraid to do things like that. Give yourself a break, go do something else, come back and look at it and you'll see things that maybe you wanna tweak. So I hope you enjoyed this one, designers. We'll be back at a later date with another 2020 design trend in logo design. 
get out there and design something and I'll see you in the next video. I just left the monitors off this time because I figured it just, yeah, it's one of those things. Don't forget, links down in the description. Cotton Bureau, go see the t-shirt.